was disconnected by a tower. like Darren is experiencing little trouble connecting to the internet. Was already on. It already went on. I can figure it out. Surely you can figure it out. Well, I can make sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's easy. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, as, as many as you can. And then also a keyword. Right. As many as you can to, to 
make sure that when somebody's doing a search on BNI Connect, they're going to find it. Because remember, this is for BNI Connect Global. It's for anybody all over the world, whether they're calling from England, whether they're calling from Egypt, whether they're calling from China. They're going to be looking for another BNI member because they've been vetted, like they've been standing in the train. You want to put those key words in when they search. And we're going to put those key words in, and they're going to find you. And of course, a lot of it has to do with geographical area as well. But they need to find you, so you need to put those words in that they will be putting in. That's the whole point about keywords. For instance, if you want to look, you work in, uh, put in search engine optimization, I'm sure that Sobe Digital has in their keywords, anybody does a search for them, search engine optimization. Not a lot of people are familiar with that, so look at things like find in rankings, Google searches, things like that. They're going to put all kinds of stuff in there so people can find them. Okay, has everybody gone through my business and uh, gone to the keywords? Buck man, how you doing? Like I said, it's internally in the to figure out how to spell slug. That'll be a slug. Okay, now go up back up to the icons, left hand corner, and you're going to press the user profile. Click on that. It's a person, it's like a person icon. Did you say we had a Yes, and hit update. I'm sorry. If you've made changes, hit update at the bottom of the main profile, the very bottom. Make sure you click update if you've made changes. Okay, everybody there? Okay, now, go up the upper left-hand corner, and you're gonna see the icons again. You're gonna see a person symbol. That is the user profile. You need to click on that now. We're gonna move on. The user profile helps you identify very short, send to the point. Basically, this is identification information in case you lose your password on it. Do constantly, especially if it's been hacked or somebody else you know, has a real name or whatever, or you can't remember what the hell password that you put in there. So you'll see username Jonathan, which is for me, that's what I log in to me and I connect with. And then and they ask me if I'm going to change username or change password. I put neither because I'm happy with both. That's a memorable question. Name. I have a name of my first dog. We had in our family that I have yeah, the name of the first dog when I was alive. Yeah. Name was Laura. What was it? Laura. Why not? Okay. And then uh, you look down on that and see a profile image. You should have a picture in there. The picture personalizes. Somebody is Hanson or Scott or Tom should have a, a profile picture in there so people can look at it. Or <laughs> Mr. Barber. A nice shot. Don't put something up there that you know you can snap in a studio or a selfie or something oh. like that. So <laughs> nice. Please. Nice picture of you. Really, really helps. I went to Google Plus. I added a picture of Google Plus. Now, anytime you put my name in, boom, there's my picture. All of them. Personalizes. It helps people identify you with you. You're not just a name anymore, so you need to put a picture in there. Okay? Great, You got company logo. Company logo, logo should be in picture form. You should have that somewhere in your business. We have a little logo. If you want to, take a picture of your sign if you don't have it. Somebody didn't use the cost and came by and didn't sign for you. All you have to do is just cut it out. Use that picture as your logo. You can do that. And ask you what you look at it, says change profile picture, change company logo, or if you don't have one, it asks you to 
load it up. If you've made those changes, if you're happy with them, click update. Everybody with me? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, we're going to move on. You ready to move on? We're going to move over to next one is contact details. Contact details. That is the phone. That is the phone icon. You can use your cell phone. I'm using my cell phone. Oh, look, most people nowadays do not look up stuff on an iPad, on a laptop, or on a desktop. They are looking up things on their smartphone. That's the one reason I'm using my smartphone. The past six clients that have called me from my website have been using their smartphone to find me. That's why I'm using it. Smartphones. Now, us older folks have to use readers to see the damn picture and the words and everything. But smartphones are very important. Okay, I'm shaking the camera. Okay. Contact details, everybody there, you click on the little telephone icon at the top as your billing address, your phone number, and over on the right hand side, you'll see you're up at the top of your, your showing you on public websites. Really, everybody should have that checked. Of course you want people to find you on public websites. Why in the hell would you even be in B&I if you don't want people to have that information? running a secret business? No. We're all here to be seen. We're all here at this meeting so we can increase our visibility on the internet. Your phone number, are you going to show that on the website? Do you want people to call you? Okay. Email address, do you want people to email you? Show on the website. You want your web address, your website? No, you don't want to show that. You spend thousands of dollars a month on it. You don't want to show that to the public, right? Okay. Show on the website. You have networking links. You have a Facebook page for your picture. You logged in? Did you get in there yet? Oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in the being like that guy. I'm just trying to go through the steps. Facebook, it gives you several different options. I have a Facebook page for the law offices with Darren and Shoal. So what I did to get that URL, basically, which is the address to put in to that uh, address, is I went back to my Facebook page and clicked on my home page of Facebook the girl bar, I copied it, and I came back down here, and I put that in. And that is a my Facebook page link, which is going to be, click, yes, shown on the website, is www.facebook.com backslash Darren.show. My Facebook page. Why increase the visibility? Now I have B and I connect with my Facebook page. Very, very important. How important is Facebook, Max? One of the most important. And it's Why? Free, and it's free. Right. It's constant communication every day.
Okay, now we're going to go back up to the gear, which is called account settings. We're going to click on that. Once you, if you made changes, make sure you hit update. Okay, here's some more personal information. The bio tab. Now this is probably something that you may not want people to know on the public site. If you have kids, how long have you been married, what people don't know about me, that kind of stuff that we do right before a 10 minute presentation. Okay, that's all in there. If you want people to know that, I click just my connections, just the DNI. Okay? Show my connections to my connections. Show my testimonials to all I have. Show my picture gallery of all of them. I just got one picture. Show my email to my connections. Show my contact details to my connections. And then there's group post email notifications. It's once per week, which I have. If you don't want that, all that, then there's a section below that. It's called email forwarding. Forward me and I connect the message I received to my email address. I hit yes on that because if somebody sends me an email address, if somebody sent me an email, say they're uh, three months ago, I had an attorney from Boston look me up, found me on Google, but also found me on BNI because it was a BNI number. And he sent me an email. And I responded to it. And he called me. His friend was in trouble peeing on the beach. He got arrested by the Washington Police Department. Put my head here, Dad. Did anybody get arrested? Yeah, an explosion. No, I'm sorry, it was an explosion. It was a lawyer in Cali because he was trying to pee between two cars. And this 60 year old millionaire <laughs> was breaking into cars. Okay. So, yeah. police officer couldn't figure out what to arrest him for, so he arrested the lawyer in Crowley for being in between two cars at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday. <laughs> the beach. Uh, 2.30 p.m. at least. 2.30 p.m. Lawyer in Crowley, you got to be like now, nighttime, 2 a.m., creeping around the neighborhood, looking at the cars, things like that. And there's other requirements, but whatever. Okay. So, you made changes under the account settings. Please click update. Click update now. Now we're going to go on to bio. Bio. That is a page, a dog eared page icon up in the upper left hand corner. Bio, years in business, previous types of job. Spouse, children, pets. I had four, but I lost one, so I have a three. Actually, a snake, but I have to see one. Hobbies and interests, city of residence, years in that city. My burning desire is to make my family happy, that's all. Something no one knows about me, easy success. These are things maybe your body don't want to show up. Family information, those kinds of things. What? Right, it's all personal. Exactly. Well, I mean, sometimes people want to be able to relate to you. In today's society, everybody's on Facebook. Every time you fart, every time you take a drink, you know, oh, I just farted, and you put it on Facebook. Or I'm taking a drink, I'm very far away from you know. People want to see that kind of stuff. And usually, your younger crew always like to get into other's business. And unfortunately, that's the thing. Now, our culture, maybe, that's their culture. I mean, as a defense attorney, I usually use that as a weapon against witnesses, victims, those kinds of things. You know, when they're, and I had a picture of a victim who claimed he was beaten up. He had a terrible drinking problem. There are pictures on his Facebook page and he'd fall into the bushes and they'd pee his pants. I mean, just terrible. I mean, he's sitting there with a bomb, beers all around, passed out, he put lipstick and makeup on him. 
He shows all of this on his Facebook page. Things that you and I would be embarrassed to put on it. The kids love it. Commercial. Pointing out what's your commercial? I put in my when trouble go off of there to show them double. And there's your games profile. You want to fill in that information. Your top profile. I do referrals, top product, what you have, top problem to solve. And when you've done all that, you hit update. Okay. How are we doing, everybody? Now the last but not the least, last icon up here, we're going to move to another couple of icons. But you see uh, the training. I see in mine there are no training records. So somebody's not updating my training records, and that's me. Now, training records. If you want to put in your own stuff, you can put in training history, that kind of stuff. Now, everybody. You can there, so just to be clear, I don't think you can do training stuff. Right. Who's secretary? Secretary has to do that. So who's the secretary? Scott Solid. Second presentation. Okay, click that. Click the go back up the left hand corner, and you'll see like a, a person. You'll see a person figurine with some dots underneath it. That is connections. Click on that, and you will see all of your other BNI members. Is everybody with me? Yeah. BNI connections. 
What? Yeah. 